Welcome to an Anova System snippet video. My name's Sam Bromley, and I'm going to show you how to customize appearances in SolidWorks. So first off, I'm going to apply appearance to the geometry. I'm going to drag and drop this appearance, the steel. I want to do that, I hold Alt. And when I hold Alt, the properties of the appearance open up on the left-hand side. Now as you can see, we've got a bounding box here. We can scale that box to increase or decrease the size of the texture. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the more advanced options of the appearance here. So we're going to go to the Illumination tab. I'm just going to run through some of these settings to show you what they do. So first off, the Diffuse Amount. The Diffuse Amount controls the intensity of light on the surface. So the higher the value, the brighter a surface looks. The Speculate Amount controls the intensity of the highlights. So increasing or decreasing this changes the intensity of the highlights on the surfaces. We can change the specular colour, so the colour of the highlights. We can see that's changed to a green colour now. The specular spread controls the blurriness of reflections. So the higher the amount, the blurrier those reflections look. And decreasing that amount produces a more shiny finish on the surface. The reflection amount quite obviously controls how reflective a surface is. So higher amount will make that surface look more mirrored. Transparency amount, quite self-explanatory. The higher the value, the more light will actually pass through the surface itself. And finally, we've got luminous intensity. And this controls the emittancy of light, if any, from a surface. So the higher the value there, the more light will be actually emitted from the surface of the appearance. Now I'm just going to set some of these settings back down to their, their, their defaults here. And we're going to have a look at surface finish. Now as you can see here we've got a surface finish of brushed steel. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that surface finish to something a little bit more dramatic. Like the diamond tread plate. Just so we can see what type of surface finishes we can apply to our geometry. We can scale the surface finish and we can also specify some settings here for photo view. So we've got bump mapping and also displacement. Now bump mapping gives the illusion of depth to our textures. So turning that on will give the illusion of that depth to that tread plate. Whereas displacement mapping actually physically affects the geometry itself and will deform the geometry to display the type of texture that we've got. Now these settings will only come through at photo view level, so you'd have to complete a rendering here to be able to see those changes. Now finally I'm just going to show you how to save out an appearance if you've made some changes to it. Quite simple, go to the colour and the image tab and we can then save out the appearance. So good practice here is to find an appearance which is almost what you need, make some changes to it, you can then save it out and it will then be available for future use. So as you can see there's quite a lot of settings in appearances which need to be taken into consideration. We do have a lot of control over the changes we can make to the appearances themselves. But hopefully I've shown you a few things here which will help you create some really realistic appearances. So I hope this has been useful to you. Thanks for watching.